Armed with only a camera. Okay, let's go. America's most daring journalists. Oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? Risk their lives to bring you breaking news. Grab the rope! Grab and break! Tonight on Stringers, a flash flood turns a canal into a death trap. He was literally an inch or two away from death. A rookie stringer is caught in the middle of gang warfare. Quick, and a veteran finds himself on the wrong side of a takedown. We're riding shotgun with Stringers LA. When the sun goes down in LA, there's bound to be trouble somewhere. And stringer Scott Lane is always looking for trouble. I tried normal jobs, it didn't work out. I love watching my stuff on TV, that motivates me. The, the dollars is just a plus, so this job is perfect for me. Hold on, here we go. Let's go check that out, we're not too far from it. There's a crash on the freeway, it's a solo crash. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Be safe, do not use your white light. Um, stay on the shoulder, try to hide, don't let people see you. Just, um, just watch your back, keep your eyes on the traffic. It appears to be only a minor bang up, but Scott knows any accident here can quickly turn into a demolition derby. Sometimes that car gets hit before the police get there, it's gonna get hit again. All right, CHP's not here yet, so just, uh, we're just gonna stay right here, we're just gonna give it a couple minutes. Be careful of the cars. But the danger isn't over yet. You can see the victims are right over there standing on the, the medium. It doesn't look like anybody's in the car, but um, that car is in a bad spot. One driver after the next swerves to avoid the three-car pileup. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that? Come on, come on, come on! Incredibly, no one is injured. Let's get out of here before we get hit. My heart's racing a mile a minute. I was just calm two minutes ago, and now I'm just... I feel like my heart's gonna explode. I just got the most gnarliest shot. We went there, we shot it, we got it, beat it. Meanwhile, 25 miles away in the suburban San Fernando Valley, police are chasing another suspect through a residential area. Rival stringer Josh Harville throws it into high gear. Looks like he's staying in the same area, so I'm gonna be able to catch up to him. Josh aspired to be a cop, but instead of going after bad guys with a badge, he decided to chase them with a camera. He sees a blue SUV hightailing it through an intersection where a crowd of spectators is growing. All right, here he comes again. The driver seems to love the spotlight. Maybe he is coming back just for the cameras and wants his 15 seconds of fame, but this guy's definitely coming back. He's been by here like four or five times. He keeps driving by doing donuts. He'll come back. This guy's an idiot. He's just messing around in the street, causing all this traffic, making all these cops chase him. It always ends the same way. These guys always just go to jail. After more than a dozen laps in front of Josh's camera, <laughs> the suspect finally calls it quits. This Joker's run is over and Josh has some great footage. The guy came back to the same spot, ended it right in front of me, almost like I was just waiting there for it. Within minutes, his footage is transmitted to stations across the country. 
Coming up on Stringers, Scott finds himself on the wrong end of the gun. And those guns are pointed right at me. If they shoot, they're shooting us. And later, a fall into almost certain death. For a stringer addicted to action, nothing beats two stories in one night. Cruising through Southeast LA, Scott Lane gets a tip about a police chase nearby. Hey, do you hear the pursuit? A half dozen LAPD units are chasing a red Toyota. To beat out the competition, Scott needs to maneuver ahead of the chase. No way! I've been chasing this guy for an hour and I can't get a passing shot. As soon as I go northbound 710, he's southbound 710. I'm over it. Screw this guy. No, I, I'm, I'm done. But the driver changes directions. That guy's heading right towards us. Sweet. I guess, I guess we're back on this pursuit. This job, Murphy's Law, Murphy wins every time. It looks like I'm about to beat you, Murphy. I am gonna take you out. What Scott knows, and the suspect doesn't, there's a freeway closure dead ahead. It's coming right here, it's coming right here. If, uh, if he passes Firestone, he's gonna have to A-team it through those barriers. If he passes Firestone, he's so mine. There he is, there he is, yeah, he passed it. But just at the last second, the suspect decides to bail off the freeway. He's in the closure. If he stays in the closure, he's gonna hit those barriers. Here he comes. Scott braces himself for a shot that the news stations love. It's coming right here, it's coming right here. Dude, watch how many cops are here, watch. Do you see all those cops? All right, let's get back to the car. The end is near, but Scott won't be satisfied until he captures the actual takedown, closer than anyone else. They just pitted him, I, I missed it. He went down the hill and they pitted him, we're on our way there now. He pulls up within a few feet of the action. Only to realize that he's squarely in the line of fire. If those guns are pointed right at me. If they shoot, they're shooting us. Ten miles away in South Central, British-born stringer Howard Rashbrook is showing his brother Mark the ropes when a call goes out to the LAPD's gang unit. An undercover officer is at a gang party, and one of the guests is packing a loaded machine gun. 15-year-old inside with an AK-47, 300 other people inside. How many bullets can that fire? That's a fully automatic machine gun. He'll keep his finger on the trigger and just unload. The brothers beat police to the scene. But in this rough neighborhood, until law enforcement arrives, they're sitting ducks. You know what, we really stick out here. We shouldn't really be in this neighborhood. If we get out now, we're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. With the SWAT team en route, they hunker down, but keep the cameras rolling. There's a car just pulled up at the back as well. Where are these guys going? Watch out. There's a guy on the right, too. Actually, do not feel safe. Another five minutes, and still no sign of the gang unit. If the brothers aren't careful, this could be the last story they'll ever cover. What are they doing? I can hear a lot of shouting. I know the police better hurry up. I don't like this. Oh, this is gonna get ugly. What are the police waiting for? I have no idea, I don't like this one bit. Party goers spill out. This could be a sign that something's going down. That's the third time he's gone back to his car. He's ducking down behind his car. Bullets fly. Terrified bystanders run for cover. Oh, f***, take that down. Oh, and get out. Machine gun rounds whiz by, inches from Howard's window. Quick, drive! Go! 
Over in the town of Linwood, stringer Scott Lane has also found himself in the line of fire. After chasing him for nearly an hour, cops have finally cornered the red Toyota. Just feet from the dramatic standoff, Scott takes cover behind the door of a patrol car. But he's doing so at his own peril. Hey, those guns are pointed right at me. If they shoot, they're shooting us. Turns out the driver had a passenger along for the ride. Cops order both men out of the car. The passenger complies. But the driver isn't done playing games. Driver, step out of the vehicle from the passenger side window. He's not complying. Crawl out through the window. Crawl out through the window. Crawl out of the window. This could turn violent at any second. Finally, the driver gets smart and gives up. I got him good, but you know, it's just the day in the life of being a stringer. My reality is people's most harshest realities. I will be there at the worst time of your life. You won't see me. You'll just see a bunch of firemen over you or a bunch of policemen shooting at you. And your family will uh, call your lawyer and say, hey, I saw it on TV. Coming up on Stringers, the brothers try to get the shot without getting shot. Quick, throw it. And later, there's no margin for error when LA's canals turn into deadly white water. Grab the rope! Grab it tight! Quick, throw it. Ugh. Machine gun fire is blasting outside a gang party in South Central LA, and the Racebrook brothers have made a narrow escape. No video is worth taking a bullet. Seconds later, the gang unit arrives in full force, and the brothers jump out to capture the raid. Dozens of officers in full tactical gear rush to contain the scene. shooter and the machine gun have eluded police. One teenager has been hit in the leg by a stray bullet and he's rushed to the hospital. <laughs> Howard knows this tape will be in high demand. This is gonna make top news on every station, I guarantee it. The footage hits the airwaves as breaking news. Shots were fired early this morning after an undercover police officer discovered an AK-47 at a house party in South Los Angeles. It's an evening neither brother will ever forget. That's up. Does that happen every night? I've never seen anything like this before. I could have been killed. I guess we'll keep this one for a moment then. Howard and Mark aren't the only family members looking for action tonight. Howard's twin, Austin, is hot on the trail of a police chase through downtown LA. Hey, Austin's on Hill Street. Oh, he's pursuing South Central Channel 12 right now. Hey, right, we just, we just heard a call they were following a stolen vehicle. Um, and it's, they tried to pull him over, he hasn't stopped, so it's now a pursuit. But just as he's about to close in, his scanner blasts an update. There's an officer down nearby. So Austin abandons the car chase for what sounds like a much hotter story. Right, we're gonna go to that. Okay, LAPD unit's just been involved in a crash on the way to this pursuit now. 
We are about three blocks away from it, and the LAPD unit just crashed on the way to this pursuit. The officers requesting help, and they've just asked for an ambulance as well, so it's not going to be good. But you have to take extra precautions when you're responding to a pursuit, because this is exactly what happens. They get into a crash. Yeah, I can see the cop cars crashed up here. Let's go. Oh, he's hit, he's hit a fire hydrant, he's hit a fire hydrant. Austin learns the officer was heading to that same stolen car chase when an SUV came out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. I've got it. What we have here is somewhere, well, somebody's been arrested. Maybe they ran a red light in front of the cop. Somehow, one of the cop cars in this car got into a traffic collision. The cops are on the way to the pursuit. The smashed hydrant makes for an incredible spectacle. Luckily, neither the officer nor the driver is seriously injured. Cops involved in crashes always makes the news. I've got the smashed cop car, I've got everything, I've got sound bites, let's go, come on. Coming up next on Stringers. A life and death rescue attempt that stunned audiences around the country. An intense rainstorm is soaking Southern California. With power outages, flooded streets, and swollen waterways, stringer Rich Cowgill is on high alert. Turn the scanner on and it sounds like there's a very dramatic rescue taking place close by. It sounds like a car has gone into one of the flood control channels here. This could be a real life and death situation, so I'm going to try to find out exactly where it is and get into the area and hopefully get something good. A powerful flash flood sweeps a man down a drainage runoff. Rich races to capture the rescue attempt. He sees something in the rapidly rising waters. Look closer and you see that it's actually a vehicle and there's a, there's a person on the roof of that car and it's coming right towards us. Right in the center of the pile on! Right center, Thomas! Still coming! He's standing right for the center beat! Not even a trained rescue worker could brave these dangerous currents. Their only hope is to send down a lifeline. You want to make sure you got your together. I'm trying to keep myself real calm. Okay, okay. Go, go, go. go. Stay off the rope, please. We're gonna pull you up. He's pulling, pulling, pulling. We got it. Keep coming. Keep pulling. But the line doesn't budge. They're trying to pull him out a little bit so that they can make eye contact with him, but he's not coming out. The current sweeps him under the bridge. I don't see him! The current so powerful, it's stripped off his clothing, but he's holding on for dear life. But just when the firefighters think they have the upper hand... It seems like almost certain death. In that first second, literally, your mind's racing, and I thought to myself, well, that guy's gone. Incredibly, the victim grabs hold of another safety line just in time. Yeah, there you go, hold on! Hold on, hold on! Take him to the right! Brace it! And it literally looked like he was riding a boogie board uh, against the current of this river. And I could see that he was concentrating, he was listening to their commands, and he was still working with them, and man, I started to get goosebumps. Fast behind him, float him behind him. Go, pull it. Got it, got it. Yeah! 
He knew what he'd been through. He knew that it was a real, real ordeal and that he was literally an inch or two away from, from death. It was an incredible feeling to go from a state of thinking that this guy had just been killed to all of a sudden witnessing a really, really dramatic rescue. Rich gets the exclusive. His rescue footage goes national. It was a rescue that almost didn't happen. Okay, no, no, he's coming fast. He's coming faster. He is coming faster. Tell him to get ready. The minutes leading up to the rescue are an example of training, ingenuity, sweat, and pure luck. One split second can make the difference between a disaster and a miracle. But whatever the outcome, stringers are there to capture it on tape. You know, you've got a ton of things to worry about. Gang members that don't want you showing up, you can easily get shot. Quick, drive. Oh my god, oh my god, did you see that? Did you see that? Come on, come on, come on. Pain is temporary, bones heal, chicks dig scars, and glory is forever.